Hi, everyone. Uh, thank you very much for joining uh, this session. Uh, my name is Tomohiko Ishibashi. I'm based in uh, Tokyo and uh, work for uh, Parkopedia Japan. Let me introduce our company. Uh, our company, Parkopedia, uh, is founded in 2007 uh, to be able to answer any parking questions anywhere in the world. So we have uh, developed our uh, parking location data uh, for uh, 19 countries and uh, provide our uh, parking and the EV location data to uh, a lot of uh, car OEMs uh, worldwide. And as a first half of uh, this session, uh, I'd like to uh, share uh, some of our survey results we conducted to the, uh, the drivers and I'd like to uh, explain why parking data is uh, really important for our drivers. Then after that, uh, I also would like to share uh, some of the latest trends of income payment, uh, which is uh, happening in Europe and uh, in the US. For this uh, report, uh, the company called Tech Insight Strategy Analytics conducted a connected car features and interested uh, report uh, last year. And the result is this. Uh, so actually, uh, parking are really uh, rated high. As a survey method, uh, we confirmed these following 26 connected functions, such as traffic condition or uh, real-time weather information or real-time uh, parking information, and the, uh, the uh, respondent picked the most important variable one or most uh, least variable one. And I'd like to uh, share uh, some of uh, insights of the, this report for the uh, USA drivers. At the first, uh, parking information is very valuable for, to US drivers, uh, ranking within 3% uh, of top priority uh, besides uh, traffic cars. Demand for income payment is uh, very high. Actually, 56% uh, of all uh, USA drivers want to toll payments, and uh, also 54% uh, user uh, would like to have a parking reservation. 44 of drivers want to pay the gasoline, and the 44 drivers want to pay for parking through their car. Despite many automakers offering current uh, management or Inca games, email, social media, um, that kind of items in, in the vehicle, but actually uh, driving centric service such as uh, paying for parking or gasoline are more higher and are deemed much more valuable for uh, as a result. By looking at age group, uh, actually uh, 18 to 24 and 35 to 45 years old ranked that parking availability are the top connected car features. Subcompact and sport car drivers ranked parking information as a top uh, priority. And mid-size and large car owners also set as uh, parking availability information is a second priority. Early adopter and uh, laggers uh, parking information is the uh, second highest priority for both groups. Let's uh, look at by Bico brand, uh, as it shows on the image. Audi driver rank uh, finding parking availability is uh, as their top connected car priority. BMW, Buick, Chevrolet, and Hyundai driver uh, rate parking availability as a third priority. 
Inca toll road payment, uh, Buick driver's top priority. Dodge driver third priority is reserve a uh, parking space near the destination. We also conducted another uh, global driver survey to the driver uh, in, this year, uh, in this year for Europe, US, and Japan. Uh, for the, some of the insights uh, from our global driver survey uh, for uh, US drivers. In regards to parking, 18% of US driver experience issues every time they look for parking. 58% of drivers in New York face parking challenges uh, very frequently or all the time. 47% of California and 46% of Texas has challenges uh, for parking. 67% uh, of US driver deem parking information as a very important or extremely important. Regarding Inca commerce, 70% uh, of US driver want vehicle-centric Inca commerce uh, function. 65, I don't know, 61% uh, of US driver would value single sign-on capabilities. 68% of US uh, drivers would value income payment for parking. 81% of US EV driver would like to be able to pay for charging through their car. And for EV charging, um, 92% of US uh, EV driver feel anxious about finding charging away from the home. 72% of US EV driver consider parking info as uh, extremely important or very important. 91% of US EV driver would value uh, integrated parking uh, services. Nearly half of US EV driver have run out of church, a quarter doing so multiple times. Locating charge point away from home is very frequent or constant problems for 35% of uh, US EV drivers, with a third experiencing issue with physically accessing chargers. 68% uh, of US drivers have received unexpected parking fines while charging their cars. 91% of U.S. drivers value the ability to locate EV chargers and navigate directly to these. A perk and charge would reduce the anxiety of getting an EV for 90% of current ICE drivers. This is just uh, one example why parking information is necessary along with EV data. The left uh, side, it's a um, EV location website called Plugshare. Uh, unfortunately, this uh, information doesn't uh, support that or doesn't mention that Saturday or Sunday are not opened for this uh, parking garages. And also, the price uh, it's described on this website is not correct. No. On the other uh, side, uh, our data on the right hand side, uh, we, support, we can support both parking data and the EV location data. So we support opening hours and the prices, etc. So in uh, 15 years, we have developed uh, very high quality static and dynamic parking information data so that we utilize our experience to develop uh, EVP or the I data uh, worldwide. Now, regarding parking data, we have a lot of uh, blue chip customers uh, globally. So we actually are white labeled, but uh, our data is uh, used a lot of uh, 
connected cars. And uh, let me go on for uh, my second uh, part of this presentation. And I'd like to uh, mention uh, why this uh, Inca payment will be really important for um, SDB. So the automotive industry is disrupted, uh, as you know. OEM has to change their business model to SDB. For SDB, OEM needs to build the software first and build the hardware later. And the business model has changed from just selling a car to uh, create a long-term relationship with drivers. Developing the recurring revenue scheme is a key issue. And we think there are three types of car services by on-demand. A, uh, service of internal merchant, such as enhancement of battery or torque. B, uh, service by external merchants for operations of the car. Uh, Vehicle-centric domains, such as fueling, charging, touring, and parking. Uh, this is the one we are focusing on. And the surgery for C, um, passenger-centric service, such as food, metrics, or uh, taking an online lesson uh, in the car. For our company, as an aggregator, uh, we aggregate with a lot of um, service uh, providers on the right-hand side, and we ask um, OEMs or tier ones to develop a good uh, driving UX and transaction flow. And then uh, I'd like to share one video which we uh, made in this year. Please take a look. This video is shot in Germany. This is a female driver using an EB in the parking find the mo uh, most availability uh, parking spot. She can also use the uh, voice U UI to reserve the parking location at first. And she used her Visa card, which registered on other, her uh, connected car services. When he crossed to a touring road, it's going to detect the, his license plate number and save the um, transaction for touring roads automatically. And also, there's a pop up to show fueling is a road, so he finds a fuel station along his uh, driving route. He can select the pump of fuel type and the amount and pay by uh, his uh, MasterCard, which registered on his uh, connected car services. So he doesn't need to go to a shopping, must, a shopping owner to open the uh, gas pump. So it's uh, very convenient. She enters the parking garage. The camera reads the license plate automatically and starts charging the fee of parking. She 
she also opened up uh, EV charging port by tapping the screen. he crossed to the destination, uh, there's another pop-up coming up, and he can pick the one with a high availability uh, parking location. When he pushes the park here, he can uh, start the parking session. When she checked the uh, charging remaining status, it's uh, not uh, full yet, so she decides to extend the parking um, usage for another 15 minutes. This ice driver comes back to his car. He push the end session of parking and he can also see what he has paid by connected car service uh, for today. And this uh, female EV driver also finished her services but, and he check uh, she, he can check what he ha she has paid uh, today or she can go to OEM's portal and she can check the what, what she has paid. Yeah, thank you for watching. So far, for Parkopedia regarding uh, Inca payment uh, we have provided to a, a lot of um, car OEMs uh, in production. Uh, we got a lot of industry hours two years ago. Uh, regarding this payment platform, uh, we focus on these uh, four uh, or key domains such as parking, fueling, EV charging, and touring. As you just have seen this video, actually these four elements are really important when the driver is a um, connected car services. So we focus on these four domains at first. One of our strong uh, characteristics is uh, single sign-on. So uh, on the first transaction, driver has to uh, register one time. Then uh, we manage uh, central user management, like a credit card thing, and then automatically account is uh, linked. So that we can support seamless UX for Inca and not annoying entering uh, user data on the head unit every time. This is uh, one of uh, big news for Hyundai and the Pagopedia uh, we announced two months ago. So for Hyundai US, uh, they start um, Inca uh, payment services with a parking domain at first with our support. And this, there's another video by Hyundai Pay, so I'd like to show it to you.
more through the touch screen of your compatible Hyundai. To enroll, you must first have an active BlueLink account. You'll also need My Hyundai with BlueLink. If you don't have that, download and install it, and then log in using your My Hyundai account login. In the app, select Utilities, and then Hyundai Pay. Read the terms and conditions. Acknowledge them. Next, enter the license plate for your vehicle. This is important when you're using parking spaces that will require your license plate for validation. Enter the supported credit card information. You're almost ready to use Hyundai Pay. However, you still need to add the merchants you wish to use. Under Linked Merchants, select Add Merchant. Here you can add the merchants you wish to use Hyundai Pay with. Ensure that your information is correct. Acknowledge the terms and conditions. You're ready to use Hyundai Pay. To reserve a parking space at a destination, first enter the destination area, then select Search Near POI, and then Parking. The map will show a full list of parking lots. To narrow it down to only ones that use Hyundai Pay, select the filter icon at the top. Then select Hyundai Pay. The list will repopulate to show only those lots where you can use Hyundai Pay. Select the desired lot. And then select the information icon. If you wish to reserve a space in this lot, select the Hyundai Pay icon. Set the date and start time for the parking reservation. Followed by how long you'd like to park. The lot will show the available options for parking reservations. Choose the best option and then press OK. Check to make sure everything is correct. If you need to change something, select the area to change. Once everything is correct, press Pay. Enter your My Hyundai with BlueLink PIN to complete the transaction. You're all set. Now you can set the parking lot as destination and head that way. Your reservation is stored in the My Hyundai app, along with the pass number and, if applicable, QR code that can be used to enter the lot. And if you need to cancel the reservation, you can do so at the bottom of the screen. For more information on Hyundai Pay and other features, be sure to consult your owner's manual, available at myhyundai.com, or the user's manual, accessible via the touch screen. And be sure to explore the how-to guides at the Hyundai USA YouTube channel and myhyundai.com. Thank you very much. I'd like to show uh, one more client use case by Skoda in Europe. Uh, Skoda started in vehicle payment for parking at first. Then they announced that they expand fueling for income uh, payment by utilizing our transaction API. Actually, uh, that's it for my presentation. And uh, I hope uh, my session is uh, insightful for you. And I'd like to launch this kind of uh, very convenient income payment service to Japanese drivers as well. So I hope uh, we can do a good uh, collaboration together. Thank you very much. Uh, please let me know if you have questions.
Uh, 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 thank you very much for your presentation. I have two questions. Yes. Uh, I want to. I, I'm curious about the difference uh, between the uh, Europe uh, market and the uh, Japanese market, and the, what is the challenges uh, to deploy or mm -hmm. apply yes. U.S. services into Japanese market? This is the first question. Yes. Second question is, uh, what part is op about open source? This is open source summit. So uh, uh, what is open? Mm -hmm. uh, I, I want to know uh, about uh, uh, <laughs> yes. Thank you for your question. Uh, for the first one, uh, to actualize this Inca payment service in Japan, actually we are just a data aggregator, so we don't develop um, reservation or on-demand function by each uh, smartphone app or uh, by service providers. It means that for parking operator or EV uh, operator or fueling operator has to develop a uh, transaction API to connect with us. So actually, it means that it needs a lot of, how to say, um, de de uh, initial development cost by their side. So I try to conv convince or explain to a lot of uh, those kind of operator or partners, but yeah since it needs a lot of initial development cost, it's not so easy to uh, make it happen. And for the, your second question uh, regarding open source, so yeah, <laughs> we are private uh, UK headquarter company, so we <laughs> would like to charge by API usage. But uh, if you are interested for like a POC or paid POC, uh, we are happy to work with you guys. Then if we can show good demo, then uh, I'd like to charge actual yeah, product to uh, call, call EMS. Thank you. Do you have any other question? Yeah, if it's not the case, uh, thank you very much again. Yeah, thank you for joining.